Before he became a best-selling author, my next guest actually worked for the IRS. Now his book, The Fifth Wave, is being turned into a movie. How cool is that? Author Rick Yancey joins me now. Hey, Rick, good morning from New Mexico. Good morning, Casey. How are you? Good. We're excited to chat with you. Uh, they like to make a lot of movies here in New Mexico. Uh, tell us about The Fifth Wave, because you guys filmed in Georgia. What's yes. that experience been like? I, you know, I was actually a consultant on the film, and it was really cool, really cool to watch you know, your novel, your story come to life, being brought to life by, you know, like real life people. Um, the first time mm. it's ever happened with my novels. And it was like, it was surreal. It was, you know, very cool. It was nerve wracking. Um, but, you know, it, uh, the end result, I think people are going to be really uh, blown away by, especially fans of the book. It's very, very close to the novel. Now, were you excited when um, you heard that Chloe was cast um, as the lead in this uh, movie, or did you have a, a process where you were like, no, there's a few actors I want on that list, or what was the, what was the deal? You know, I went into it when, uh, when I first heard that they were going to go forward with the film. I went into it like, you know, chewing my fingernails, losing sleep, thinking, oh my gosh, what's going to, who are they going to cast? What's the script going to be like? What's going to, and then I realized, you know, you know what? Um, Hollywood doesn't tell me how to write books and it's not my job to tell Hollywood <laughs> how to make movies. So, but Chloe's absolutely fantastic. Um, what a great actress she is. I mean, she's going to be doing great things. Um, Alex Rowe, who uh, plays the love interest in the film, um, is a really, really talented actor out of Great Britain. Nick Robinson, who's uh, going to be appearing in Jurassic World, uh, also stars in the film. Um, so it's, it's really a youth-driven, um, very energetic cast um, who really, really love this story um, and, and you know, loved bringing these different characters uh, that I had created to life. And Rick, this is the first um, uh, in, a, in a trilogy. So what inspired this book, The Fifth Wave? You know, I had always loved science fiction when I was growing up. And um, I always wanted to, to, to write a science fiction book, but I never knew, you know, really what kind of approach to take. Um, and uh, then it occurred to me, you know what? In popular culture in particular, we tend to, like, write about or make movies about the kind of aliens that we, you know, kind of would like to attack us. You know, the kinds of, you know, we could easily defeat and save the day and everything would be the same. You know, the next day after the aliens are gone, everything just goes back to normal. And I thought, you know, that probably isn't the way it would really go down. So uh, that was the inspiration for the book. You know, let, let's write about an alien invasion as actually it might occur in, in, in real life. The book's not set in the future. It's set like day after tomorrow if they just suddenly appeared in the sky. And it follows the story of a young girl who is separated. She loses everything. She loses her, her entire family. And uh, there's one person that's still out there, and that's her baby brother. And the, the first book of the series is about her trying to find him and uh, be reunited with him. So, yes, it is a big science fiction book. It takes place all over the world. But it's a very human story, too, of her trying to find her brother. Well, Rick Yancey, thank you so much for your time, and we can't wait to see the movie. But, hey, let's make a deal right here, right now. Come film your next book-turned-movie here in Albuquerque. What do you say? Hey, I'll do what I can. I think that'd be fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Congrats. Thanks.